ഇപ്പം തീ കത്തിക്കണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പിന്നെ തീ പോണ്ടി വരും സോ അലൂയ ചിലർ നീനയ്ക്കും പോലെ കർത്തനുടെ വരവ് ഒട്ടും താമസിക്കില്ലിനിയും പാപികൾ മാനം തിരിഞ്ഞിടുവാനായി ക്ഷമ കാത്തിടുന്നതേയുള്ളൂ പാപികൾ മാനം തിരിഞ്ഞിടുവാനായി ക്ഷമ കാത്തിടുന്നതേയുള്ളൂ രാജ്യം രാജ്യത്തോടും ജാതി ജാതിയോടും എതിർക്കുന്നതു കാണുന്നല്ലോ അപ്പനമ്മ മക്കൾ സോദര ബന്ധങ്ങൾ ചിഹ്നമായിടുന്നു അപ്പനമ്മ മക്കൾ സോദര ബന്ധങ്ങൾ ചിഹ്നമായിടുന്നു നിന്റെ ആദ്യ സ്നേഹം വിട്ടുപോയെന്നൊരു കുറവു കർത്തൻ കാണുന്നല്ലോ ലൗകിക സുഖങ്ങളും ശാശ്വതമല്ലെന്നു താതനരുളിടും ലൗകിക സുഖങ്ങളും ശാശ്വതമല്ലെന്നു താതനരുളിടുന്നു ചിലർ നിനയ്ക്കും പോലെ കർത്തനുടെ വരവ് ഒട്ടും താമസിക്കില്ലിനിയും പാപികൾ മാനം തിരിഞ്ഞിടുവാനായി ക്ഷമ കാത്തിടുന്നതേയുള്ളൂ പാപികൾ മാനം തിരിഞ്ഞിടുവാനായി ക്ഷമ കാത്തിടുന്നതേയുള്ളൂ ഐ മാൻ ആ ലോഡ് ഇസ് കമ്മിങ് ബാക്ക് Hallelujah. I have 20 minutes to explain a lot of things so uh, bear with me. Today's title is the day after. Hallelujah. 1 Thessalonians 4:16 through 18. 1 Thessalonians 4:16 through 18. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive who are left until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of trumpet of God the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive who are left will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air so we will be always with the Lord therefore encourage one another with these words Hallelujah so the trumpet sounded Jesus returned and took his church So first the dead in Christ will rise and then the ones who are right. So these are the things that's going to happen after the trumpet sounds. So imagine you're at school, let's say you're in admin at the UCO campus and you don't know what happened because you didn't hear it. And there's chaos in the hallways and there's lots of yelling and screaming. and you don't know what's happening you think there's a school shooting so you try to hide but you could hear some people saying gone or missing and some people are screaming trying to find people but you somehow just want to go home and you just want to get away from there because you're first of all confused what's happening so you somehow get to the parking lot and then you get to your car but there's lots of traffic because everyone wants to get out of there because they think something terrible just happened so you somehow reach second street go to broadway and there's cars everywhere and there's accidents on the road and there's you could hear sirens you could hear cops and ambulances people are trying to get to people but nothing is happening because it's all jammed and you trying to call people but guess what the cell towers will be jammed that day because there's going to be everyone trying to text and call so it's going to be very hard to get through 
what normally takes you 40 minutes to get home takes you several hours because you have to know the roads are going to be all blocked and crashed. There's multiple crashes everywhere. And there's cops and sirens everywhere because they're all trying to get to, and to clear the roads. But somehow, several hours, you get home and there's no one home. Normally, your parents are supposed to be there, but they're not there. But you realize their car is there, so they didn't go anywhere. So now you're completely scared. And you're crying, and you're angry, and you're yelling, and you don't know what's going on. And you somehow fall asleep on the couch, just waiting. And then you wake up hoping that this is a terrible dream, but it's not. And you wake up and you're the only one in the house. And then the, this is what's going to happen the next day in this country. This is just a educated guess, but obviously we have minds so we could know what's going to happen. The FAA will stop every flight because there has been plane crashes, right? So they will have to put a no-fly. So there's not going to be any flights in any radars. And maybe the, only the government flights will be flying that day. Um, major roads will be all shut down because there's multiple accidents, so they can't even clear them. Um, there will be massive rush to stores. People will be going and emptying out stores because something just major happened, right? The light, the light of the world, the salt of the earth just disappeared. There's massive chaos everywhere. And you know this scene because what? Every time there's a hurricane or some sort of natural calamity, what happens? We run out of gas, we run out of water, we run out of food. And that's what happens. You rush to the stores, there's gas nowhere. Banks will close that day because why? There's going to be panic withdrawals. People will rush to banks to withdraw money, but the banks will have to close because they don't keep all that money in hand. ATM machines will be shut down because there's not enough currency in there for people to get out. So there's going to be national panic happening all around. And you're home, and this is the next day, so you think that you could text people, and no one's responding. So finally, you have the courage to get on Hebron Group Me, and you write, if you're here, hit like, and none of you hit that yesterday. <laughs> so, so nobody hits like because everyone, no one wants to say that they're left behind. So you just wait around. But let's see what happens in another scene. Turn with me to Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. So chapter 1 through 3 is the letter to the seven churches. So this all happens, but then John is being invited into heaven. So chapter 1, so 4 verse 1 says, After this I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and first voice which I had heard speaking to me, like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. So the key word is after this, after what? After all the stuff from one to three happens. So after this, he's invited, and then what's happening is the scene in the throne of God and all that from all of chapter four, and then chapter five, there is an invitation to open the scrolls. So these are scrolls that are rolled up one by one, so meaning on top of each other, there's seven of them. And the scrolls have seals on them, and the seals need to be opened. And there's only one who's worthy to open the seal. It is a lamb that was slain. And he comes and he opens the seals. So our focus today is on the seven seals. So meaning, I want you to know what's going to happen on earth sequence. Now I watched, this is six verse one. Now I watched when the lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like trumpet, uh, thunder, come, and I looked, and behold, a white horse, and its rider had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he came out conquering and to conquer. So someone who's 
wearing white, he's on a white horse, he is allowed to come. So some people say that this is Christ. It is not Christ because uh, the four living creatures don't control Christ, right? This is, this is the Antichrist who is coming, and he's allowed to come and take over. So during a massive uh, national, um, you know, uh, this, this downfall, financi fin financial systems are down. So you have to know that the next day there won't be any trading in the trade markets because why? People are, so, are selling stocks. So there's a, uh, there's a breaker that turns on. As soon as you hit certain point, the breaker turns on and shuts down the trading. So all trading will be stopped that day and even the next days because nobody knows what happened, how to get things to normal. So these panic times, and then someone has to come and say, I'm going to fix this issue, right? So this is where he is introduced and he comes into power and he is saying, I'm going to fix this place. And then everyone tried to follow him. And that's how this united you know, nation, united uh, the world order kind of sets in place. So uh, this, this person comes in, and there's lots of references about him, and his name is Son of Perdition. And uh, let's look at Second Thessalonians 2-3. 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and then that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 1 John 4, 1, 2, 3. 1 John 4, 1, uh, 4, 1 John 4, 1, 2, 3. Behold, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits of see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone into the world. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. So the, the spirit of Antichrist is already here. And we can see that in people who are lawlessness, who does not obey law, who does not obey God, who is not righteous and they're unrighteous. And you could see that, man, how can somebody do s terrible murders and terrible things to each other? And that spirit is what's in them. And, but this is going to be revealed more when the one who is holding back is, releases his hold back, which is the Holy Spirit. So for the last two days, we've been talking about the fire that, does not, that we do not want to be quenched. I mean, the fire that does not need to be quenched is in us. So as soon as the Holy Spirit lets go, the lawlessness comes, and then this man shows up. Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians 2, 9 to 12. The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan, with all power and false signs and wonders, and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing, because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So imagine this. You know this country has like more guns than any other place. You think they're not going to use that whenever they find out that there's food in your house? Your neighbor will come and probably attack your property because they want stuff from your house that day because there's going to be lack of stuff there's going to be a rationing of of, of food there's going to be a ration th this is actually from 1973 oil crisis the united states was ready to publish these but they never did because the, the oil i mean the, the 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 supply was fixed but they, they have this stuff ready who i mean who everyone born in india knows what a ration card is this is, the, this is the same system they will bring here because there won't be any food supply because transportation is going to be gone. How are you going to get supply? We already saw stuff. This happened when? During the COVID. So God gave us a glimpse of what's going to happen multiple times, but he already gave us these little, 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 little uh, snippets of what's going to happen. So then, so he comes into power and he takes over. And then what happens? Uh, verse, 
Verse 3. Sick, we're in, we're, we're going to be in seeking in uh, chapter 6 the whole time. So when, we, when he opened the second seal, I heard the second li- cre- living creature say, Come. And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth so that people should slay one another. He was given a great sword. So the second person comes and the spirit of lawlessness just multiplies and people are slaying one another and peace is taken from the earth. So if you think that you cannot go now, good luck then. If the Holy Spirit is with you now, the Comforter is with you now, how are you going to survive then? Trust me, God will give second chances. We'll look at that. But if you cannot, if you cannot run your race now with the Holy Spirit, how are you going to do it without Him helping you then? So... People are fighting each other. Your neighbor is going to be stealing stuff from you. There's going to be massive murders going on. And then the third seal is going to be opened. Uh, Verse 5. When he opened the third seal, I heard the living creature, the third living creature say, Come. And I looked, behold, a black horse, and its rider had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, a three quarts of barley for a denarius, do not harm the oil and wine. So what is that? That's, that's rationing, right? Food is rationed. So there's only a limited amount of supply, so people have to only take what they can for that day. And But he's saying, don't touch the oil and the wine. I, I completely do not understand all that means, but if any of you want to um, buy some stock in oil companies, that's fine. Because uh, it'll be around. And then the fourth seal. And when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the four living creatures say, Come. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And its rider's name was Death. And Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beast of the earth. Good luck then, right? Pestilence and beast are going to attack people. We already saw a, a sample of that a year ago. The whole earth was full of plague. Now this is going to multiply multiple, multiple times. And you know all those animal reserves? Yeah, they're going to be releasing them. The spirit is going to come and release them so they will attack humans. So I'm not a big animal guy. Um, and then... The fifth seal, that's uh, verse 9. And he opened the fifth seal, and I saw under the altar souls of those who have been slain. For the word of God and for the witness they have bore, they cried out with a loud voice, O sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you'll judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then they were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers should be complete who were to be killed as they themselves had been. So there's a little bit of relief here, and that is during the first one, two, three, and four, there are people being killed for their truth, for righteousness, right? So maybe these are the people who are left and they're running around and saying, no, guys, what happened is the Lord's coming. So if you stay, and maybe God will accept us. So they're, 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 they're maybe proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. And they are being killed, and then they are taken up to heaven under the altar. And so they are saying, God, you know, how, are, how long are we going to wait until you avenge on the people that killed us? And then the sixth seal opened. And I looked, behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, and the full moon became like blood. And the stars of the sky fell to the earth as fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll that is being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. One, one through five, I mean, one through four, it's, you can kind of handle it. But there's going to be massive earthquakes, and mountains and islands will be removed from its place. 
These are all have references in the Old Testament, and we will study that during our next uh, Bible class when Pastor John Riggs uh, teaches that. So if anything I say, Pastor Uncle, please fix it. That's wrong. So mountains will, and, 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 and islands will be removed. So this is all preparing for the, the millennial reign. So, so the planet, the tectonic itself is shaking and is, and is changing its shape. And, and think about how many people will be dead. I mean, you, you, we saw what happened in India during COVID. They, were, they had to burn people, right? They had to do cremations. Because why? There was no land to put. You think there's going, you think there's going to be, you think Tim is going to have a good business? No. <laughs> there's no time to bury people. There's no Friday, Saturday, memorial service, homegoing service. Okay? There's no time for that. People are just probably put into pits and burned. There's so many bodies. There's 8 billion people on this planet. One fourth is allowed to be killed. One fourth of 8 billion. There's no funeral service. We don't have to send flowers, Judge Uncle. So the sixth seal was opened, and there was the sun. The entire universe is having changes. It just became black as sackcloth, and blood, and the moon turned into blood. And then, 15 says, Then the kings of the earth and the great ones, and the generals and the rich people and powerful, everyone, slave and free, hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks and the mountains, calling to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us, hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne, from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? So these, everyone is where, where they're rushing to? I mean, there's earthquakes. Look at what happened in Turkey, right? That, that's just a sample. This is, this is global level earthquakes happening, and people are trying to hide. They're hiding under caves and into caves, and... Are they saying, Lord, help us? No, they're saying, oh, mountains, help us. They're still won't change their mind. Their, their prayer here is, hide us from him. So they're actually calling out to the, actual, the, the rocks and the mountains and putting their trust in those things to save them. He's the one who made the mountains and the rocks. And these people still don't get it. So there's a little difference happening from 6th to 7th seal. And the seventh, uh, the sixth seal, right after the sixth seal is opened, uh, we saw what happens. You no, know, pl- the whole planet, physical change is happening. And then the seventh seal. Before we get to the seventh seal, a, a bunch of people from the tribes of Israel are sealed. They're twelve thousand. So that's not our topic. So we're not going to go into that. And then John is seeing a great multitude in the he- in the heavens. And he's saying, and one of the uh, angels is asking, John, do you know who these people are? And he's like, no, I don't, Lord. I mean, I don't, sir, you know. And then he says, these, these are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. He who sits on the throne will shelter with them in this. I'm reading uh, 7 verse 15. Um, he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, thirst no more, and the sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. So these are the people who are coming out of the tribulation. Who? Because they stood for the truth. Yes, they were left behind, but they were... They're changed because they knew what happened and they are holding on to the truth and maybe they are even converting other people to believe the truth and they are coming out because they've been murdered for their truth and they are now saved and they are under the altar and God is giving them eternal life. And then, eight, and then the lamb opened the seventh seal and there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stood before God and seven trumpets were given to them. So this is when things are going to heat up, guys. 
The seventh seal is actually the opening of the seven trumpets. So the seal is opened, and then it's listing the seven trumpets that's going to come. And there, there's, a, there's a funny part where the four angels who blows the one, two, three, four, then there's an eagle that goes around and saying, whoa, 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 who dwells on the earth. Why? Because the three seals after that one, there's no one who's going to survive. That's how bad it's going to turn. So why, did, why, why am I bringing all this up? Because it's the truth and the word of God. We went through what Friday and Saturday talking about music team. You come up. Um, the, the, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. If that Holy Spirit is not in us and who's not with us, and since we are sealed by Him, you can grieve the Spirit where He will leave you, and then this might be your condition. Can you show the last slide, the verse? Luke 21, 3, 34 and 36. But stay awake all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that, you, that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. I hope no one here is here. I hope no one in this church is behind. You don't want to be on earth God has given us this time to repent and to follow him and to live according and to keep our righteousness and to keep our clothes clean and our clothes wrinkle-free. The Holy Spirit is here. Accept him. Deva tin parishutalma ennil vasam cheigaya Deva tin parishudhalma Yenil vasam cheigayam Klesham yendinavanenne Bhadramai kathidum Jeevanen per kai vedinya Nadane nyan pinchellum Yellarum Krubaya nyan pinchellum Yellarum Kaivitalum Krubaya nyan pinchellum Encourage one another with these words.